In this video, we're going to show how to set up a test that you had running on a local machine to be run on the Sauce Labs cloud of virtual machines. You should already have a config file in this example test where you have the base URL of the app you're testing against and the name of the Chrome browser. The first variable that we'll add in is the host variable, and this will set where your tests are run, either on your local environment or on Sauce Labs. Next, we'll set some variables that will be passed as capabilities to Sauce Labs to determine the environment in which your test is run. You've already set the browser name, and now you need to set the browser version as well as the platform name, which is the operating system that you'll be running on Sauce Labs. You'll also want to create variables that will pull your Sauce username and Sauce access key. You can either hard code these in in quotes or do what I did and pull it from your system environment variables. In order to run tests on Sauce Labs, you'll have to create your own Sauce Labs account. Free trials are available. You'll go to find the user settings screen where you'll find your username and access key, which you can use to pass when you run your test. What I've done is set the username and access key as system environment variables. This is a recommended practice in order to protect sensitive information about your account. The last thing we'll do is set up the structure so that you can switch between running on Sauce Labs and running locally. First, set up a switch statement that will pull in the variable host. The two variables will either be Sauce Labs or localhost. Then we'll take the capabilities and the instantiation of the drivers and move them into each one. If you're running on Sauce Labs, you're going to want to pass in things like capabilities and the URL you're running tests against. If you're running on a local host, you'll either need to instantiate a Firefox or Chrome driver, or if you have another browser, you might have a different statement there. Once you've created a case for each of the local and Sauce Labs platforms, you need to add in a break statement at the end. In the next video, you'll see how to actually run these tests on Sauce Labs adding in the capabilities, configuration, and endpoints.